So this game is very interesting with how it presents its choice-based system and what you can do. It's a lot more open world than I thought it was going to be. I like it so far, though. It's very cool. Very story-driven, but that's a good thing. That's what I was expecting from it. I love the art design, too. It's very different. With Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Aw, oh, shit. Miss Grant. Miss Grant, I saw you in the hallway, Miss Grant. Can I talk to you, Miss Grant? Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Well, sure, Miss Grant. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Uh, it could have helped Rachel. Uh, well, she is missing David Madsen. I don't, I don't know who that is. I want to get a beat on him. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace. Not fear and violence. Well, I mean, Nathan is carrying a gun. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Is that a drone? Do you see the drone? What the fuck? Uh, I'll sign it, I guess. Absolutely, I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. All right, Miss Grant, we got a new ally. See, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, with Nathan walking around and stuff, it's probably good to have security cameras. Oh, look at that squirrel! Look at that! Look at that squirrel, man. Hey, little buddy. Hey. Hey! Alright, enough of that. Oh! One email from Warren. Uh, don't ignore this message. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. I hope so. Wow, that was a very fast text exchange. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. All right, well, I don't know where my dorm is. Press tab to open your journal. Uh, Max Jefferson. Oh, look at all of these people that I've encountered thus far. Episode 1, page 1 out of 12. Let me see what the updated pages said. This does not exist. Okay, that was the bathroom. That was the rewind time thing. And that... Oh, okay, so this is like a nice little sum like summary of everything here. Alright, well, I don't know where to go exactly. Hey, Justin, keep it cool, man. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. I don't know where the dorm is, though. Missing persons poster. Is that the dorm over? Oh wait, here's a sign. Parking, swimming pool. I have to get used to this open world thing. I'm not used to this with my choice based games. Uh, main building, parking, dormitories. I need to go this way. Oh, listen to this chill on, music. Logan, bring it, brah. Bring it, brah. Come on, Logan, brah. You were, you were yeah. messing with Danny, you dick. Who's that girl? I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh, okay. Uh, it's under construction. Two. Is it? Hi, Alyssa. Don't have time. I gotta go to my dorm. Actually, how do I get to my dorm? Do I go climb up the ladder? No. Victoria. Oh, you bitch. What do you have to say? I want to talk to you. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. 
Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your weight hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> She's calling me hipster? Look at her. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. No. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Wow. Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Wow. All right. Well, I mean, I saw the sprinkler system come on here. How do I get this going? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? It's got to be over this way. By this, uh worker who looks oddly suspicious of being a worker what the hell samuel man you look weird all right where's that valve i would assume it's in here uh is it in the door no it's not oh water pump there we go what the hell are you kidding look at this chill victoria it's just water yeah water on my cashmere do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Ha, ah, what a bitch. So yeah, she's wearing cashmere, yet she calls me a hipster? Oh, she's still over there. Well, I guess I'm gonna uh, walk in the dorm now. Oh, be careful, Samuel. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can I dump that on her? I totally am going to be able to dump that on her somehow. How do I do it? Oh, can I actually... Oh, what if I get the football? Hey, dude, can I get that football? Hey, dude. Dude, can I get the... Dude, can I get the... Okay, thanks for ignoring me. Dude, don't throw it. I need to get it. Dude, don't... Don't, no, no. Come on. I need to figure this out. So I need to rewind time. All right, so now I'll use it, skip it. So they got up, and now there goes Samuel. What can I do to this bucket? What can I do to this bucket? Oh, I can tamper the bucket. Okay, let's see if this works. My God, it's gonna break. Oh, right on her cashmere sweater. No way! No fucking you okay, way! okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Oh, yeah. I am sorry, Samuel, for what I said about you. Hey, Victoria. Looking uh, looking a little different than the last time I saw you. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Make fun of or comfort? Bitch, you're going to make fun of me. I'm going to make fun of you. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Dude. Oh, that's bad. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So does she know that I squealed on Nathan? Oh, man. Well, I wonder what the actual consequence... If, like, if it was alleviated if I actually, uh... Don't make fun of her. There we go. All right, Victoria, I'm going to uh, talk with you. And we are going to actually comfort you. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. Awesome. It was. But there will be another. No. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. 
He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Nice. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. No. Alright, everybody gets one. I will let her off the hook, but only because that one Nathan comment. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. I'll leave it like that because I don't want Nathan to know exactly where I live since he may find out that, you know, we told the principal that he had a gun. So I'll leave it at that. I kind of like this system because it allows you to question your choices and kind of handpick which story you actually want to tell for Max. All right, so Tre Taylor is a slave. Red rum. Oh, they're going to Victoria bring her towels. Is going to be pissed we took so long. Juliet, stomp them Bigfoots. I could pull the fire alarm? I don't want to do that. Will bang for Jesus. Wow. Okay. Oh, Max's room. This is mine. All right. I'm going to go in my room. Oh, that is an old teddy bear. Sick. I play guitar now, too. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. The Winger and the Cow. Is that supposed to be a play on Catcher in the Rye? Oh, what about my uh, sticky note here? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey, girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Well, first, let me look at my photo album. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I don't know any of those photographers. Oh, and there's the wall of photos that Mr. Jefferson saw. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Oh, there's a note here. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannonball Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace, Warren G. Excuse me? Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. Yeah, that's for sure. I know how you feel, Max. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, okay. That's where Dana is. I don't know who that is, but apparently she is not happy. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Get out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Answer, you wuss. Ah. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Okay. Uh, well, what did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh, boy. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? I... I don't, I honestly don't know. Why are you coming at me? Why are you fronting? I'm going to call you Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't oh. even think you knew my name at ha, all. Ha, I guessed it. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Oh, so I'm going in Victoria's room, I suppose. Even though, supposedly, I, uh, 
I'm on good terms with her. I guarantee I won't be after this. Oh, there's Victoria's room. Here we go. Be the change you wish to see, Gandhi. This is such a bad idea. Uh, oh, look at that teddy bear over there. A gazette. Gallery letter look. What is this going to do? Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Oh, wow. So she didn't get accepted. So I guess she isn't that uh, good. Tablet. Oh, could it be on the tablet? Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yeah, that's pretty. It's a pretty expensive thing right there. Not what I'm looking for though. Uh, use the computer. Is that would it be on there? I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo, and for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Oh man. Look at that. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty text from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believe me. And so I expected there to be a dorm rampage soon. Wow. Wow, what a bitch. Well, how do I... All right, oh, print the email. There we go. Yo, check that out, dude. All right, give me that email. Give me that. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I'm, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. This is bad. Okay, please don't get caught. Oh hey, I just came from my uh, my room. Totally wasn't in Victoria's room. All right, here you go. Juliet, read this. Of course. Yeah, why would you trust Victoria? That's the first mistake. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Man, this is going to be like a high school like bicker Best. I kind of already see that. Stomp them, Bigfoots! Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. All right, well, should I talk to Dana? I suppose. Uh, I guess. Why not? Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. See, now here's the thing. Why do they have locks on the outside of the door? Victoria's not nice. Julia gets a rage on. Yeah, Victoria isn't nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. Uh, he's a good guy. What do you mean? I don't even know Warren, so I gotta, I gotta say, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. You okay? You're weird. Uh, where's the... Oh, what is that? What is that? It says, look at... Oh, a pregnancy test? What? I'm not gonna... What? That looks like a home pregnancy test. I'm gonna take that. Why in the world would I need that? Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Sorry. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Oh, shit. Uh, I gotta rewind time. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. I don't know why I decided to take it. I just thought it would be funny to see if, like, I would actually just pick it up and, like, put it in my pocket. Flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. See you later, Dana. Hey, Dana. Oh, I heard a rumor about you? No. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but 
I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Yeah. Of course. But I don't know, why am I having this conversation? This is weird. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? That beat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? Not my business. Yeah, it's not my business. I don't want to know. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. I had no idea she was pregnant. I don't want to talk to her again. I, I have a, I have a, I have a weird feeling it's gonna, ex you know, get really weird if I talk to her further. All right, now I need to go. I hope so. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. Yeah, Warren definitely has a crush on Max. So I guess we are fast forwarding to the parking lot. Oh, I hear that bug. Fuck this shit. Oh, what Ow, the fuck? That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Why would he do that? Fuck this shit. No, what the Ow, that hurt. Alyssa? Alright, what what do I have to do here? Speak, what are you doing? Speak. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. All right, Fuck no, no. Oh, oh, come on. That hurt. I just made her get hit with like three footballs. Ouch, poor Alyssa. Okay, can I talk to her first? Talk, 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 talk. I don't know if that's it. Warren. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Ha! I did it. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Okay. This action will have consequences. I just, I prevented her from getting hit in the head with a football. How does that have consequences? Oh yeah, and Victoria emailed me. Uh, SMS, Victoria. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. I, like I said, everyone gets one. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo or intervene. Well, I don't... I'm gonna intervene? I'm gonna inter... I'm gonna intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No, no. I helped out Kate. Kate's a friend. I gotta, I gotta keep that going. Yeah, I helped out Kate. 